Hello booktube! Here we are again. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, <laughs> like a really long time, but here we are again doing another readathon. I have a very special task for this one. I've been reading Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare for over a month now. I know, I know. Her books take me ages to finish, so I need a readathon to finish this. I'm about halfway through, as you can see here. I think if I really, you know, focus, if I really buckle down, I can do this in a day. I don't know. I was planning on doing a 24 hour readathon, but as usual, I slept. <laughs> so, I'm going to adapt my readathon into a 12 hour readathon. So it's like 12 hours of reading. It's like, you know how you have a marathon, but you can also get half a marathon, like a mini marathon? That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're going for the mini one. Uh, 12 hours. Can I do this? I've, I've read this much in over a month. I want to read the rest of it, the other half, in 12 hours. Um, Am I being too ambitious here? Who knows? I believe in myself. I believe I can do it. If there are no distractions. What do I have to do today? Ah, oh, I have to go and check my tires and get petrol. It shouldn't take too long. I don't think. I hope. I don't know. So, anyway. <laughs> We're gonna try and do this. I have half of this book to read, which is about... 400 pages to read, which it doesn't seem like a lot. I know a lot of people when they do read a songs, they tend to read a whole lot more than that in a day, but It's because it's a chunky fantasy book Cassandra Clare The way she writes it, it takes me ages to read, you know, I want to Go over every word because I know they have meaning, you know, it's just I, I can't just glance over a page and say, yes, I'm done with that. No, I, I need to know what's happening, why it's happening, you know. So, it's taking me a while. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna finish this today, we'll see. But, I have high hopes. Yes, high expectations. Oh, do you like my new onesie? Let me show you my new onesie. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it. It's a unicorn onesie. I got it from Primark for five pounds. Ha! So yeah, super bargain. <laughs> right, so I'm going to try and finish this and whenever I'm going to go and have my tires checked and get petrol, I think I'm going to listen to The Darkest Minds, which is the audiobook I'm listening to right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm not wasting time, no, away from books during a readathon. Right. Here we go then, let's read. You know what I miss about readathons? Having my little reading companion with me, Millie. If you've been following me for a while, you know that Millie is my dog, my lovely Westy. And she is, honestly, she's my reading companion. Every time I pick a book to read, uh, she would just come up and lie next to me and have a wee nap, as you do. And yeah, so I don't have Millie right now with me because I'm away at university and she's home with mom and dad. So, <laughs> the best we can do is an old pig, an old stuffed pig. Sorry dude, you're not the same. <laughs> Okay, so I've just come back from the petrol station. Uh, the car is done. That's one last thing to worry about. And now I'm back and I'm going to carry on reading. Guys, there's so much going on. I don't know why, but it seems to me like most of her books, most of Cassandra Clare's books, they tend to be kind of slow from the beginning towards the middle there. They're always very slow. And then on the second half of the book, everything just happens all at once. Like, it, it gets really interesting. So, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I have to say, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to see what happens next. Right, here we go.
just while I'm on a break here. Just wanted to show you the outside of my window. There's my window. There's my little flower. Oh, so cute. So yeah, um, it snowed about five days ago <laughs> and it's still there. The snow's not going anywhere, guys. It's been sitting for five days. And yeah, I, I don't know what's happening. I just want it to be summer already. Where's the sun? Oh, what a horrible, miserable day it is. Okay, let's have a chat, a quick chat. While I'm on my break, I, I need a break because I've been waiting for way too long. Um, right, um, I'm not sure, like, I'm not the biggest fan of love triangles at the best of times. Cannot stand any love shape, no triangles, squares, anything. <laughs> so, I'm not sure I like what's going on with... It makes me uncomfortable, I don't know about you. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Honestly, don't think it's going to work. But I'm not going to tell you any spoilers. No spoilers here. So, yeah. Um, the only love triangle I have ever been on board with, which I really liked, was one from Cassandra Clare, from, but one of her other series, The Infernal Devices. Oh my goodness, if you have not read those books yet, do yourself a favour and read them. They're so good. Uh, yes, that's the only love triangle I have ever been invested in, being really into it and, you know, like, being okay with it. Uh, but, ah, uh, Cassandra Clare, what are you doing? Um, I don't know. It just makes me uncomfortable because I know somebody's gonna get hurt. It's not gonna work. Sorry, I, had, I don't have faith in those three <laughs> together. <laughs> We'll have to see what happens. And yeah, I, I'm not gonna tell you what's happening in the story right now because, you know, spoilers. But yeah, I've seen it coming for a while now and I'm just waiting for something really bad to happen all of a sudden. So yeah, we'll see what happens, shall we? We'll keep on reading. Actually, I think I'm gonna take a break and listen to the Darkest Minds, because my eyes need a break, I need, a, I need to stop reading for a while. So I'm going for an audiobook. Yes. I'm going to listen to The Darkest Minds. Why do I keep forgetting that name? What What's wrong with me? Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what's happening right now, and I'll talk to you soon. So, I've decided to work a bit on my bullet journal. This was last week, well, I'm, we're still doing this. Anyway. <laughs> and yeah gonna work on next week and the week after that we're doing two weeks in one spread I'm just gonna color this in I'm thinking of using watercolors but I'm not sure if it's going to work we'll give it a go I'll show you what it looks like at the end so yeah good luck to me <laughs> fingers crossed and here we are I know I have a long way to go yet. <laughs> My skills are not the best, but you know. Oh well, I tried. I'm going for a Hufflepuff theme over there in the mug with the yellow and the black, but yeah. Uh, the little marshmallows. It's not even coffee, I forgot. It's hot chocolate because it's got marshmallows. But yeah, some hot chocolate over there and a little biscuit over here. I tried drawing a jammy dodger, but I'm so bad at it, <laughs> but oh well, <laughs> it looks like a biscuit, sort of, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, this is it, right, and back to my book now. I'm not sure I'm ready for this, <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much going on, and it's so horrible, <laughs> in a good way, you know. <laughs> But I don't, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to end like this. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I don't want the story to end like this. It, ca it can't. 
something horrible just happened and I I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know. I don't want to keep reading. I don't want this. I don't know. Ugh. Cassandra Clare. You're killing me right now. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, the end of this book needs to be rewritten. I'm not happy with this. No. Oh, right. Let's keep on reading. See what happens. See if there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, let's carry on. Okay, um, well, good news, I finished the book, <laughs> yes, it, I like the ending, I really do, um, after that horrible thing happened, I think the story kind of redeemed itself, uh, you know, it, it wasn't all that bad, uh, it just made me panic for a little bit, <laughs> but then everything worked out, I think, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the ending. I just don't want to give any spoilers for those of you who have not read it yet. I know it hasn't... I mean, I know most of you, if you're into Cassandra Clare, if you're into the Shadow Hunter world, you've probably seen reviews about this book, you've already read this book. So, you know, it wouldn't really spoil it for you, but I know, I'm aware that there are people who have not read it yet and they want to read it. So I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but if you're into, into fantasy, if you're into the Shadow Hunter world that Cassandra Clare has created, this trilogy is brilliant. My ranking of Cassandra Clare's books goes The Infernal Devices, nothing will ever beat that. The Infernal Devices, The Dark Artifices, and the Mortal Instruments. Um, the Mortal Instruments are the most popular, I think, the most famous books that she has out. But I think that's because it's the first series that she's written. I think that's all it is. I don't think it's as good as The Dark Artifices or The Infernal Devices. The Infernal Devices were amazing. Uh, the End of that series, of that trilogy, was so emotional, so it, it was just perfect. It was perfection. Now, this one, I fell in love with the characters from book one, and I love how all those characters that we've seen in her other books, in her other series, have all come back into this one. So, you know, it's not just a separate story from her other series, it's it's a way to wrap everything up. I mean, there is potential for another series to come out of this. There are some, I wouldn't say loose ends, but you can see where there's potential. You know, there's some explanations that you could dive into further. And yeah, especially, yeah, especially, what do you call it, the epilogue? I'm not sure how to say it. That extra little chapter that you get at the end of some books. Uh, yes, that <laughs> that was interesting. I was wondering what was happening to that certain character. So yeah, I think okay. I haven't seen any news about it or anything. You know, I I'm always behind on these things. I'm always late to the party. But I think if I were Cassandra Clare, I would put out another series that links onto this one. That's what I would do. But I'm not her, so I don't know what's happening there. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, so, so good. I can't believe I read half of a book in over a month. It took me ages to read it. And then in 12 hours, I read the other half. Like, I could have read this whole book in one weekend. Why did it take me so long? Why? Anyway. <laughs> I have listened to a little bit of The Darkest Minds as well. But... I still have four hours left and it's already quite late so I don't think I'm gonna finish that today <laughs> it's just not happening but I can finish that tomorrow it's fine I'm just so happy I finished this that that was my goal to finish this massive chunker of a book it's a monster really it's a beast of a book 
but I finished it. I finished it and yes, I'm so glad I did. It, it's just brilliant. I, I, I love this, but I don't want to give you any spoilers. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to stop talking. And yes, if you've stuck with me for this whole readathon, <laughs> or mini readathon, this mini readathon, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully I'll get to do some more readathons in the coming months. I don't know. I haven't done one in a while, which like I was getting withdrawal symptoms, you know, I wanted to read, but I couldn't. I just didn't have the time or the energy to read. So yes, now that things seem to be settling down, uh, I'm in between two placements. I'm not sure what it's going to be like when the second placement starts. We'll have to see, I don't know, but for now, I'm just happy I get to read and I finally finished this book. <laughs> yes, now I can get on to my February TBR. Yay! Right, so I'll see you guys next time. If you're new here, hey, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to. If you're not new here, hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you came back. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!